What's up everybody, it's A3 Frank here today, and I am using Audacity to convert flat files into MP3 files, and this is Audacity 2.0.5, and this version, well actually all Audacity versions are free, so you don't need to pay anything to do this. It's very simple and it's very quick, and we're going to get started. So we're going to hit OK to get out of the menu here, and we're going to go find our flat files. Wow, that was fast. Anyway, so we have our FLAC files here, it's the Vaccines album, and it's What Did You Expect from the Vaccines 2011. It's a pretty good album, by the way. Anyways, we're going to go in here and we're going to select three of the 11 tracks. I mean, you can select all 11 of them if you want, but just for demonstration purposes, we're going to select three. And we have all three in here, and when you click on a track, it selects the track, but we want to select all three because we want to export all three. So we're going to hit Control and then A. Once again, control A, and that's going to select all of your tracks. Then we go to file, export multiple, and this box is going to come up. So we're going to export to MP3, of course, that's what we want. And we're going to hit options, and these are my settings. I mean, these settings are pretty basic, and I recommend quality of anything above 192. I mean, 320 might be overkill. Some people say they can hear the difference, but 192 is fine for me. Of course, you want to keep it at constant, and channel mode, leave it at joint stereo. If you want to experiment, go ahead, by all means. But I'm going to leave it at joint stereo. I'm going to hit OK. And the export location, we want to create a new folder, so we're going to simply hit choose here. And we're going to just hit make a new folder, and it's just going to make a new folder for us, and we're just going to hit OK. And to double check, let's see if the new folder is there. OK, so there's the new folder. It's empty. That's where we're going to put our mp3 files you can rename that folder if you want but I'm just gonna go ahead and hit export so now comes the edit metadata if you like everything and everything is correct then just hit OK if you don't like anything or something's wrong and you can then you can just mess with all the stuff down here but I'm gonna hit OK 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 and that's for all three of the tracks okay so in my previous video, I made a video one year ago showing you guys how to do this, and it was recorded with my like camera, handheld camera, not even a screen recorder. But now, this is like the common issue here, and I'm going to show you how to fix this. So this is locate lame. Audacity needs the file lame enc dll to create MP3s. So you simply hit download here. Okay, that's going to take you to a download link on the website, and I'm going to guide you through that. It looks a little bit tricky. Some people have problems with it. Also, I'm going to link Audacity in the description, so don't worry about that. Uh, so it says, how do I download and install Lame Encoder? So you just click this. Go to external, Lame, download page. There you go. That's going to bring you here. And then you're going to see like a sketchy looking website. It looks like Craigslist or something. But it's right here. 4FFmpeg Lame on Windows. And you're going to click Lame V. 3.99.3 for Windows DXE and download that. It's a really quick download. So I downloaded it earlier and it's right here. And I'm going to hit OK and let's run it. It's not a virus, guys. It works. Uh, let's just hit next, 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 and install. And oh, that was quick. OK, so finished. Now we have lame. Now we can get rid of the stupid uh, lame error. Uh, we're going to hit OK. But since we didn't. Um, actually have it installed that time we have to do everything again so let's just hit cancel and hit export multiple so I just recommend you to take my lame link if you don't have lame and download lame first and then do this I mean this is all the same we just hit export okay 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 and there you go magic voila it's exporting the tracks that we imported uh, at the given bit rate 192 KBPS, KBPS, is that what it is? I think I said it wrong. It's a tongue twister. Anyways, so here they are, all three of the tracks that we dragged in. And just to show you guys, they are here in the new folder. They are indeed MP3. I'm going to hit properties. And it says MP3 file format or MP3 format sound. And they do work. Second track. Third track. So all three of them work, and it was as simple as dragging them in and then exporting and hitting MP3. 
So thank you guys for watching. It's been A3A Frank. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up. Uh, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below, and I will try to answer them as quickly as I can. I'll see you guys later.